the games have begun the clocks have started but magnus removes his jacket adjusts his chair also puts all the pieces on their right place before he begins this is magnus's way of getting into the zone he plays 1c4 the english opening dubo is slightly surprised goes knight f6 magnus brings out his knight we have the symmetrical english pawn up to g3 e6 played now knight comes out and dubo plays in the center dubo is known for his tarash defense in fact many have started calling it dubo tarash it involves taking this pawn getting the bishop out and magnus is well prepared because he knows that dubo has played this before he castles dubo pushes his pawn knight comes out black castles look at the speed with which dubo is playing he has 3 minutes 11 seconds he started with 3 minutes plays rook e8 also theory magnus now taking it his time because he's re recollecting what he should do the main move here is rook e1 he remembers it he plays it and now the best move is to play h6 the pawn in the center is weak it may fall but black is banking on peace activity so pushing away the bishop asking it a question is a good idea you can see daniel dubo taking his time he's not thinking he's actually recollecting his analysis because you can see him looking not on the chessboard but in the distance he plays at 6 magnus now first chops of the bishop you had to take it back because the rook was hanging now once again the rook is attacked so pawn takes bishop now takes the knight mass exchanges queen takes pawn and dubo goes back if you take here the rook takes the rook is active here the bishop is coming out it is compensation so once again magnus plays the best move and queen c3 dubo pushes his pawn rook comes in and attacks the queen now the queen has to move away but again dubo taking a bit of his time plays queen e7 excellent chess this pawn is hanging so the knight comes back and defends and look at that move daniel dubo with just 15 seconds taken is pushing his pawn here wants to open it up the bishop will come on the long diagonal this is actually looking quite great compensation for black black has five pawns against white six pawns also time wise magnus is 30 seconds down on time magnus plays his pawn up to a3 saying to dubo that i'm a pawn up dubo says i don't care i'm coming at your king now magnus under big pressure because imagine that if this pawn takes the h file opens up then the queen could enter here and that is problem also the rook can swing over this side this is just tremendous but magnus has to keep his calm he has to figure out what are the ways in which he can activate his pieces his extra pawn is not making itself felt right now now the knight comes out to d3 a normal move here is to put the bishop on this long diagonal that seems very logical but dubo comes rook a4 with a rook lift and magnus drinks water here look at him he has one minute less but i think he's calming himself down he's saying to himself there is pressure but let's be cool let's not overreact the rook is very well placed it in fact stops the knight coming to f4 oh but magnus plays it magnus plays his knight to f4 and dubo is thinking can i just sacrifice the rook for the knight can he do that but actually after takes here the queen opens up on the third rank and it's not a good sacrifice so right now it's not time enough to take it but you can first develop your bishop i think that would make a lot of sense dubo now starting to take time which is very logical he puts his bishop on the long diagonal magnus must be careful a move which is not played with great thought can lead him into trouble a very good move now is rook d3 because with this move the rook comes to the third rank it can also switch here and also at some point can come to e3 to exchange off a few pieces so it's a tough move to make but magnus has to find it he has one minute on the clock he needs to speed up a bit 50 seconds left for him and that too under pressure can magnus carlsen actually find the best move he's thinking and he plays it you can bank on magnus to find the best moves in the position and now look at this you can take take and perhaps sack here because now look if you take then i come in with my queen threatening a mate in one now you must block with the rook if you block with the pawn then i can take the pawn here so rook comes here 
and now you bring your other rook into the attack so daniel dubo is actually calculating these lines and here's a very nice variation because if you play something like queen d3 then rook comes here you take take you can't move the rook because it's a mate so all of these variations being calculated by daniel dubo and actually it starts with taking here and then taking on f4 ripping apart the white king's position but dubo plays rook e4 and he's telling magnus that maybe i want to put some pressure over here magnus pushes the rook oh he takes the pawn and it's the blunder look at magnus he's like what's happening why can't i just take the rook isn't this a big blunder there magnus just making sure that he's not blundering something he takes pawn takes now if you move your king here queen e4 is actually lost position so he takes the pawn check and now dubo i think he missed this knight retreat you can see him stopping in his tracks because he thought he could win the knight but after knight h3 magnus is a complete rook up a position where dubo had such great chances has suddenly ended up in a completely lost position for him he has blundered big time an entire rook and magnus not going to let this go there was a mate threat over there on g7 so the pawn comes up and now magnus can simply move his queen here a check and that's what he does he gives a check king comes up and he can move in he can move in here to threaten a mate in one dubo knows that the writing is on the wall the queen comes in magnus still has 10 seconds left the only problem could be time but i think it's enough for magnus to convert this because it's a double attack you're threatening a mate here and you're also attacking the bishop dubo doesn't really have too many options from a position that was filled with rich possibilities dubo just blundered and magnus takes another piece and resignation with a smile after all they are good friends of each other